The first time I ever read Psalm 70, I, I had this experience of wow, because it was the first time as a young person, and I, I mean maybe as an eight or nine year old, where I was reading a part of the scriptures and I suddenly realised that the person who was writing this was expressing a little bit of frustration with God and I'd never come across that before. So it was my first experience of anyone feeling any sort of sense of disappointment with God. It was my first time of understanding that in their relationship with God people could be really honest especially when they felt that he wasn't pulling his weight or doing his job or doing what they thought he should be doing at any given time. And those opening lines in verse 1 uh, I find are amazing. He has no God to save me, come quickly Lord to help me because they're absolutely packed with a, the idea that God is on this occasion moving like molasses. He's just moving really painfully slow. And, uh, and the writer's really struggling um, to keep mind, body and spirit together and is wondering where God is and why he's not intervening a little bit more quickly. <clears throat> he then he puts some context on why he needs God to move a bit faster because he's aware that there are folk out to get him, people who want to punish him, People who are happy to leap on every single mistake that he makes, every shortcoming, and exploit that for their own gain. So even in the Bronze Age, it turns out, there was a paparazzi of pain who were happy to leap on other people's um, misfortune and, and, uh, and, and make their own kind of celebrity out of that. Some things, it turns out, don't change in life. And I love that line in verse 3 that says, May those who say to me, aha, aha, turn back because of their shame. It's that whole idea of, aha, we've caught you. You're not so perfect or you're not so brilliant. We knew there had to be a fault or a feeling. And the truth of the matter is, at the very end of the psalm, despite his disappointment with God and his need for God to move more quickly, the psalmist, in this case it's David, is going, actually, I know why you wouldn't move quickly. I, I need to be honest with you about who I am and what I'm really like. I am poor and needy. And he's not just talking about his material sense there, he's also talking about his spiritual experience here as well. Come quickly to me, O oh God, you are my help and my deliverer. Lord, do not delay. And th there's a sense in which <clears throat> he still trusts God, even though... God's timing seems to be slightly different from his own. He still loves God, even though how God expresses that love is, is, is quite different from how he would want to experience it, maybe in any given moment. And, and David's quite happy to compare himself to other people as well, and others who are better than him. But may all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who long for your saving help always say, the Lord is great. Um, he wants people to be able to testify to the goodness of God. He wants folk to be comfortable in God's presence. And he wants them to speak of the truth and the reality of God in their lives and to do so positively. Because there's plenty of people who are their own God and, um, and they're quite happy to speak of their brilliance uh, all the time. But many of us may not actually have someone outside of ourselves who seems to be out to get us. A, a lot of folk actually struggle with their own thoughts. They struggle with their that internal dialogue that continually, uh, you know, puts them down. That internal dialogue that challenges their ability, their goodness, um, their aspirations, and and you know they make themselves feel bad. And I think you know. There are times in our lives where we actually need to stop and take stock and reassess. And sometimes we just need to understand that actually we don't have to have everything 
together and to be perfect, to be pleasing in the sight of God. We just need to be willing and open and present. But as for me, I am poor and needy. Come quickly to me, O God. You are my help and my deliverer. Lord, do not delay. I simply pray today that your experience of God would be one where he shows up when you need him, and particularly when you need him most. And you may not even be aware of that until the experience has passed and you actually have time to reflect on the fact that you weren't on your own at all.